Flush to his right. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. First down, Vic. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. He'll be stopped short of the 25. The nice move couldn't free him. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Clock running as the Redskins try to hurry up. Vic on second down. It's brought in left side by Tay. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. From the red zone now, Vic. Throw left side complete. It's Tate. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Golden Tate in the final seconds of the first half. And the Redskins are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Extra point by Anderson up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Green to bring it back. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Final play of the half. It's Elway going up top. And this one is incomplete. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Green to bring it back. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. First half showed us some pretty good offense tie game we'll see what the second half brings and it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing gotta wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side but here do you change up anything on this opening drive not offensively you don't you've got everything going your way you've probably prepared for maybe some change ups you might expect but overall you like what your game plan showing you They'll run it now out of the gun. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. The tackle by Brian Dawkins. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield that gets intercepted. And they'll run with LT to begin the drive. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Go, go, 
And now a carry here for their fullback. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Well, he tried to bounce it outside, but that's obviously not his game. He's too much of a straight-line runner. Yeah, him in the outer third of the field, not a recipe for success. That time, a loss. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. He'll have a first down past the 40. And finally brought down at the 38. A big chunk of yardage there, 37 yards. Our eyes and attention are on the fullback. Big time carry, big yardage. But how about the guys up front, the offensive line? A lot of people think they may have to block it differently for the fullback to get big yardage. They really don't. Because he's big, strong, and powerful, a lot of times he makes his own way. They may not have to block as hard. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Vic operating on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Tate. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 23 yards on the play. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Flashed a nifty move, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. I think when people start talking about the greatest Ravens of all time, Ray Lewis's name comes up pretty fast, doesn't it? Tackles like that, just the tip of the iceberg when you start to talk about his talents. He was their second pick after the move to Baltimore. What was that, 96? Yeah, 1996. Jonathan Ogden was the first. And Ray Lewis also two-time Super Bowl champion and the MVP of Super Bowl 35. Losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love. So a big one coming now for Morton Anderson. This to break our fourth quarter tie. The career leader in field goals made knocks that one through. And they take a 17-14 lead. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, 
you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. On first down, Elway. He can't avoid the pressure. Redskins get there. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. At this stage of the game, the run-pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. They'll wait to throw on second, and they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got a catch in that spot. On third down, here's Williams. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here we go. It's Elway on fourth down. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Brian Dawkins, the safety with a pick. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to come up just short as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. Well, they've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and 10. Now they're going to throw it here with Vic, eluding the pressure right. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And he is into the end zone for a...
trying to move it up. 